Mac is back. W2YM. Here we go. Hey everyone, this is Mark, W2YM. We're going to listen to mid cars today, which is on 7.258 on 40 meters, the mid car amateur radio net. What they usually do is they help out people in emergencies, especially mobiles. That's what they're really meant for is mobile radio. But of course, you can call in and say hello if you're on a home base like this at your house. No problem whatsoever. But uh, I thought we'd uh, listen in today and see what the uh, mid-cars was all about. I hope you guys enjoy it. I won't be in the video, but at least you'll hear. Some people you're going to hear on QRP. What QRP means is they're going to run probably around 5 to 10 watts, which is hard to hear. And of course, propagation today is not too good. You won't hear people as well as you usually do. Some days are just like that. So why don't we just all take a listen and we'll learn some today. Hope you enjoy W2IM. Cool weather the next few days here, and Friday we're going to have some uh, rain, 
a little bit of snow. I don't think it's turned out too much, but uh, nevertheless, it's going to cool down. We've had a great spring so far, but I think it's over for a while, dude. I can't have my ex back to you. T-A-T-T-Q. All right, we're looking, we're looking for what you have right now. I think we're supposed to get that, unlike the variety. Uh, a little bit of rain with some snow mix. It's going to be crazy out here for a few days. But it's spring. You know, we had 60 degrees the other day, and today we're at 35. We're up and down and in and out. That's the way it works. Anyway, we're glad you stopped by. Can you that with you? I'll back. Thank you. Okay, if you don't want to catch you on the road, dude. All right, thanks. Uh, now, uh, if I miss somebody, please come in. I didn't mean to do that. I got stuff on over your paper. I'm being cheap trying to save space. Yeah, this is W2YM. There you go. I'm out in. Hey, Dave, I'm back again. Yeah, can you explain to me again uh, how this originally started, mid-cars again? Um, I'm not one of the original controllers. I've only been doing it for a year or so, but... From what I understand, it really started as a, uh, a mobile net. Uh, so people who are traveling, truck drivers and uh, miscellaneous folks on the road could, could have someone to talk to while they were traveling. And over the years, it uh, migrated to a uh, user-friendly type network. Anybody could check in with talk about whatever it is to talk about. Uh, but mobile still have priority no matter what. Oh, that's good to hear. Like you said, just in case there's uh, some bad traffic somewhere out in the thruway in a different state or city, at least somebody will know, you know what I mean? Oh, you'd be surprised how much emergency traffic we get. I usually, I run a, uh, a morning net at 3 a.m. On, on 75 meters, and we have a gentleman that checks in there every day who is a quadriplegic, and uh, I, I, he fell out of bed. And he could not get up to get, he could not help himself get back up in there. But he was able uh, to kick his microphone down and, and press the push and talk button with his elbow. And I happened to be running that that day, so he told me what was going on. And uh, this guy lives in, uh, in Atlanta, Georgia. I, I managed to call my 911 people and get the phone number for his county in, in Atlanta and get that, uh, that EMS people come out there and help him get back up in his bed and get him straightened away. That's the first time I ever did it. I was amazed. I'd be surprised. So miles and miles and miles. It does work. Yeah, it goes to show you, you, I, I'll tell you, I run the HF. I sometimes call on a mid cars once in a while. I've got the, uh, the Kenwood 40 HX in there at the Tower Hill. I'm doing about 190 and, uh, sometimes I check in the mid cars here and, uh, it gets out pretty good there, uh, Dave. It gets out pretty good. I'm, I'm surprised. And it hears real well, too, which I'm happy about. You know what I mean? Well, I'm, uh, I turn the, the amp on finally. Somebody reminded me. If they're sitting there cooking for it, I never turn that standby switch. You know, the stupid mistake we all make when we're not paying attention. Uh, but I'm about 350 watts right now into a, uh, a double bazooka for 40 meters. Oh, there you go. I know Gary W9VS, he's running a double bazooka, too, for 40 meters out there in Wisconsin. You're 9 plus. You're almost a 10. Almost, Dave. I never been called a 10 before, God. I remember a movie I saw once. I'll tell you one thing, though. You got pretty decent audio. What do you run over there? What does it say? It says, I come 7410. That's my backup radio to the 746. I call it the Big Brother. Oh, yeah, I had the 746 Pro, I've had the 7410, I had the 9100. I'll tell you, the 7410, even that 746 Pro sounds nice. Yeah, I like the way it works. I'm not crazy about the scope, though. It's a, it's a, uh, a, 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 a snack as you can see scope, you know. Uh, the 756 has a real nice spectrum scope, and so does the 7300. Oh, yeah, the colored display scopes are really nice. I'm running the old... I'm running an old ICOM 775 DSP. Does it still sound all right for a 30 old radio? Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, that's fine. The audio is great. The band is giving a little bit of distortion, but that's the noise on the band. It's not you. Oh, yeah. We got a little noise in the background there still. But, okay, Dave, I appreciate your time and explaining things out here. I appreciate it very much. This is W2YM. All right. Well, if you want a better explanation, you want to you check in with uh, a couple of the older operators, uh, K9AJP or... Uh, KBA, OKJ, or even Monte, k 9 dz they've been around here since, uh, since Texas is there. And they probably grew up with Noah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I imagine what, back in, boy, when did the mobile, uh, 
ham radios hit pretty big, and when they started putting them in mobiles, probably, what, 50s, 60s, 70s, maybe? Yeah, something like that, right? Oh, okay. Well, hey, I appreciate it, Dave. You have yourself a good evening coming up. This is W2YM. Okay, yeah, that's why I'm going on. When I get down here, I'm going to see if I can. Find a nice corner to call into. I have a couple more things I need to do. Outside first, though. We've got to get the outside uh, clean up. All the tools I pull out. I didn't use anyway. They just have covered with snow. Get them in the fucking rock. Get in there for a to Go back. Thanks for coming in. Okay, 7 3 day. This is W2YM. Enjoy your day. Who else is outside from Midcar? Here's that coach, Charlie Quebec. Also, bye. 200 Bravo Street, the Tallaca, Mike Tallaca, Mike Tallaca. I had to get a signal to the Bravo Street Hotel Echo Mike. Here's that coach, Charlie Quebec. Why don't you come on in? My name is Bob. I'm located in Butler, Pennsylvania. I was just checking into the past ever. Uh, Buckley, Pennsylvania, you say with the Bobby Todd. Roger, Roger. What was your name again? His name is Bob, Bob, what's the Bobber? Bob, that's what I wrote down, I wasn't really sure. Well, you know, Butler, I, I know where Butler is at. Uh, my folks were all from that area, Dixonville, uh, Climber, Indiana, something like that. Everybody moved over here uh, right after World War II. I guess that's where the money was, you know. Roger, yeah. Well, we're glad to stop by. What's it looking like over there? You got any decent weather? Uh, it's windy. It's pretty cold out. It's uh, sunny and windy. It's pretty cold out. Uh, you're probably just about a duplicate of what I got. We got uh, a wind. Right now, the wind is picking up. They come at 25 to 35 miles an hour gust. I guess they weren't lying about that. Things are moving around. 35 degrees, that has not changed, but the snow is gone as far as what's new is coming in. We still got about an inch and a half on the ground. And I guarantee that'll be gone though, by the end of the day if that 35 degrees keeps up. Well, Bob, I'm glad you stopped by mid -card. I hope the rest of the day goes well. And don't forget to come back if someone always is. Roger, hopefully your day goes well, Sam. Thank you, Bob. Enjoy your day. Well, I hope you like what Dave mentioned about what Midcars was all about. At least he gave you a little intro of what Midcars is all about anyways. But uh, I was using the ICOM 775 DSP radio today. Back in its day, it was one of the better radios, but they got a lot better technology today out there. But uh, with Midcars, though, it's a really nice uh, frequency to listen to, especially if you have emergencies. So I hope you all liked it, and I hope to see you again. Thank you. W2IM.